Trials, by their very nature, generally involve witnesses and evidence telling at least two versions of a story. But who decides who to believe, the jury or the judge? The Pennsylvania Supreme Court considered that question in Martin v. Evans. Anthony Martin sued Weldon Evans and Evans' employer, asserting that Evans, a truck driver, negligently operated his truck, injuring Martin. At trial, Evans testified that he pulled his 45-foot-long tractor trailer rig into a rest stop and parked in what he believed was the last parallel parking spot in a row of truck-sized parking spots. Because it was the last spot, Evans had to angle the cab to maneuver the truck into the space. Evans then left his truck to use the restroom. Evans further testified that when he returned, he looked behind the back of his truck and saw that no one was parked behind him. Evans then mounted his cab and spent about two minutes recording the stop in his logbook. Evans then released the cab's emergency brake, which emits a loud hissing sound for two seconds. He then put the truck in reverse, activated his four-way flashers, checked his side-view mirrors, and slowly backed up so he could pull out. He felt a nudge and saw someone waving at him. Evans immediately stopped, then in his mirror saw someone fall to the ground. Evans got out of his truck and saw Martin lying on the ground. Martin testified that he, accompanied by Rochester Steverson, was driving an Isuzu box truck. Martin pulled into the space behind Evans' truck about 10 feet back. About 90 seconds later, Martin got out and walked between his truck and Evans' rig. Martin testified that he didn't hear the rig's engine or the hissing brakes release, nor did he see any flashing lights on the rig. But the rig backed into Martin, pushing him against the Isuzu. Martin testified that Steverson jumped into the Isuzu, started it, and reversed it. Martin fell to the ground and was injured. Martin's brother, Neil Martin, who'd arrived before the Isuzu arrived, corroborated Anthony's version of events. Steverson also testified, claiming that he'd been driving the Isuzu, not Martin. Steverson claimed that after he parked behind the rig, Martin got out of the passenger seat, walked to the front of the Isuzu, and leaned against it while talking to his brother. When Steverson realized the rig was backing up toward them, trapping Martin, Steverson started the Isuzu and reversed it. The jury found that Evans wasn't negligent. The trial court then granted Martin's motion for a new trial, finding that the verdict shocked the court's sense of justice. Evans had sat in his rig for a couple of minutes after checking behind it. He knew he couldn't see behind his rig. He knew that in the busy rest area, a pedestrian or other vehicle could have pulled in behind him. The trial judge therefore found unacceptable the jury's verdict that Evans wasn't negligent. The Superior Court affirmed the trial court's order, and Evans appealed to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court.